Solving Exponential Equations This lesson will show how to solve exponential equations such as might be found on Algebra 2 second semester test or final. We'll look at this equation first, 5 to the power of x equals 3125. This problem should be pretty easy for the average Algebra 2 student. We can just try to raise 5 to a power until it equals 3125. If we substitute 2 for x, we get 5 to the second power, or 5 squared, which equals 25, not the right answer. If we substitute 3 for x, we get 5 to the third power, or 5 cubed, which equals 125, also not the answer. We could keep on going in the same direction with this until we find what x is. An easier version of this problem is to have multiple choice options like we have here. We could substitute the multiple choice answers in until we had the proper solution. Here we can see answers A, B, C tried out. And of course C is the correct answer. Another way to solve this problem that is pretty neat is by graphing. Go to the y equals view, enter 5 to the power of x here, and then to solve by graphing to make it easy we solve the right side of the equation 5 to the x power equals 3125 by subtracting 3125 and we place that here. Then we graph by pressing zoom 6 or graph. We see the function crossing at about x equals 5 here along the x-axis. We can also verify by looking at the table view by pressing second then graph. And we see the solution here at x equals 5. Here's another problem, slightly more complex. Find the value of x in the equation below. 7 to the power of 3x equals 40,353,607. To me, the hardest part of this problem is choosing one way to solve it since there are so many possibilities. We could start by changing the equation to a logarithmic equation. That's the only way I know of to really get x by itself. Another way, and I think an easier way, is to plug in numbers for x until we have an equation that works. We just have to be careful and replace the x with the potential answers and not the 3x. An advantage of doing it this way is being able to do it without a calculator if needed. But I'll show a couple ways with the graphing calculator. First, go to the y equals view. Now we put in the left side of the equation, 7 to the power of 3x. It's important to place the 3x in parentheses. To get to an exponent, we use the exponent key on the right side of the keypad. From here, we can go to the table view by pressing second, then graph. It might be a little hard to recognize, but our answer is here at 4.04 .04 times 10 to the seventh, 40.4 million. It's a lot easier to see if we use our arrow keys to move over the 4.04 .04 times 10 to the seventh. We see the entire number below showing that 3 is the right answer for x, and that's the answer choice C. Another great calculator way is to solve by graphing. So we go to y equals again and enter 7 to the power of 3x. Then to have one side of the equation set to 0, we subtract 40,353,607. Then we graph by pressing zoom 6 or graph. We see the function crosses at x equals 3. We can verify by checking the table view by pressing second, then graph. Finally, we go to the equation solver by pressing the math key, then going down to zero, solver. Press enter. Clear the existing equation out of there by pressing the up arrow key. There will be a blinking cursor here just on the other side of the equal sign from zero. Then press the clear key. The equation is cleared out. Now enter the 7 to the power of 3x, remembering to place the 3x inside parentheses. Then to solve the equation for 0, subtract 40,353,607. Now solve by pressing alpha, enter, alpha, enter. We get 3 also using this method. Consider the ways we have solved this one. Which one was your favorite way? Try to apply your favorite technique on the next problem. Let's look at this final problem. Solve the equation 4 to the power of 2n minus 1 equals 16,384. Stop the video and solve the problem, then restart to see how you did. 
We'll use the same methods to solve this one in the graphing calculator. First, go to the equation solver by pressing math. Scroll down to zero for solver. Press enter. Clear the equation out by pressing the up arrow, then clear. Enter the equation solve for zero as 4 to the power of 2n minus 1 minus 16,384. Note that the 2n minus 1 is wrapped in parentheses. Also note that in equation solver, we don't have to use x. We can use other variables besides x here. Now solve by pressing alpha enter, alpha enter. We get n equals 4, which would be the answer b. Next, to solve by graphing, another method, we go to y equals, then enter 4 to the power of quantity 2x minus 1 minus 16,384. Note that we have to use x here and cannot use another letter as a variable. Then we graph by pressing zoom 6, or graph. We see the function crosses the x-axis at x equals 4. And finally, we can go to the y equals and just enter the 4 to the power of quantity 2x minus 1 then onto the table view by pressing second, then graph. We can see that when x is 4, 4 to the power of quantity 2x minus 1 equals 16,384, again showing that b is the correct answer. I hope you have an idea of which method you might prefer. This strategy may abhor the purest geek, no calculators allowed mathematicians, but these kinds of problems are the ones like you might see on an SAT or ACT that you can do very quickly with the calculator leaving you a lot of time to handle the tougher problems. This has been Solving Exponential Equations. Thanks for viewing.